funny. Can you hear me? Funny? Hello? Can you hear me? Yes. How are you? Fine, and you? Good, thanks. How was your day? Very busy. Uh-huh. fine. Okay. Uh, where do you work again, Funny? Advertising agency. Oh, okay. What kind of products do you guys make? Different brands. Okay. And when you say advertising, do you mean banners, stickers, and things like that? Uh, in the agency, work different campaigns. Okay. Print uh, banners. Um, we need other uh, providers. 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 Yes. Okay. And do you guys make presentation cards? No. You don't? You don't, I don't. Okay, fine, good. How are you, Marcelo? Fine, teacher. Good. Fine. How was your day? A little bit tired because it's the finish of the week. <laughs> exactly. Everybody wants to rest. Yes, everybody wants. Okay. Uh, do you work A on lot. the weekend? Uh, sometimes. Sometimes. This week, uh, on Sunday. You're working on Sunday? On Sunday. Yes. Okay. Uh, can you remind me? On Sunday. Can you remind me where you work, Marcelo? Uh, I work in a, in a supervision that a production. Uh, uh, a production I of... Supervision of produ Okay, but when you say production, uh, what exactly do you mean? Uh, we make a, a, I don't know how to say, uh, deshidratados, soaps, deshidratados, sopas deshidratadas, oh. like uh, nor soap. Like, like, like uh, and, instant soups? Yes, but in, in, in sobres, no, oh, no como maruchan. Oh, okay. So it's like powder. Uh-huh. All right, good. Like, uh, what's the name? Uh, top ramen. Yes, but for Unilever. All right, good. Very good. Nice. Robert, how are you? Perfectly fine, Neil. Good, good. How was your day? Uh, a little bit busy, as always. Okay, good, good. But you are in your house right now? Yes. Okay, and where do you live again? Mm, I live near to uh, San Miguelito Marketplace. Oh, okay, good. Near La Rabida, Venida España, yes. all that. All right, good, good. All right, so let's begin. Uh, we have three people connected, that's good. Thank you for making the space. Um, do you guys remember the topics we discussed yesterday? What did we talk about? Yesterday we have been talking about models. Okay. And past participle. Okay, uh, models in past. Yes. 
Right, and when you use models in past, you use the past participle of the verb. Mm -hmm. Right, okay, good. Hello, Evelyn. Hello, good evening. How are you? How are you? Hey, good, and you? Nice, did you nice. have a nice day? Uh, yes. All right, fine, good. Now we're talking about the things we did yesterday in class and um, your classmate was saying that we were using models and past models, mm -hmm. right? Now, what is the function of using models in past? It, when you use a model in past, you're making reference to what? Anybody? How do you say hubiera traído sombría in English? Anybody? Marcelo, Robert, Evelyn, Fanny? How do you say traer in English? Traer? Care. Okay, uh, carry, carry is, no. oh, carry is no. llevar o cargar. But if you want to say traer, you say bring. Bring. Okay. Bring. And, and what is the past tense of bring? The past uh -huh. tense of bring? Anybody? The past tense of bring is brought. Yeah. Uh, brought. Brought. So okay. that's the past tense, not the past Bro. participle. Okay, good question. Now remember that many times, did you see the chat? Brought. Yeah. Brought. Brought. Yes. So um, sometimes the same form that you use in past is going to be exactly the same form that you use in past participle. And that's the case oh. of, the, of the verb bring. So, how do you say hubiera traído sombría? According to what we were discussing yesterday. I... I... I should have bring an umbrella. Very good. Yes. So, imagine that it's raining and you're getting wet. And then you say to yourself, oh, I should have brought the umbrella. Hubiera traído la umbrella. La, la sombría, I'm sorry. I should have brought the umbrella. Mm -hmm. Right? Now, how do you say, no le hubiese creído al periódico? So the newspaper said that it was going to be a beautiful day, sunny, the perfect day. But it starts raining. So you say to yourself, no le hubiera creído al periódico. I shouldn't have believed. <laughs> believe. The newspaper. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. So the newspaper had told you it's going to be a wonderful day. You can even have a picnic or something. And uh, but it starts raining. So you say to yourself, I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have believed the newspaper. Very good, very good. Any questions about like my favorite bean. No. No. Exactly. <laughs> I, I was going to mention his name, but sometimes people take it first. No, let only say the newspaper. But it happens. Yes. It happens. <laughs> yes. Okay, um, any questions or any comments about yesterday? So what happens, mm -hmm. okay, you wake up in the morning, six in the morning, and you're getting ready to go to work. When you open the door of your house, you see that the street is wet. What comes to your mind? So you're going to work. You slept like a baby. You didn't hear anything. But when you open the door of your house, you see that everything is wet. 
So what happened the night before? Rain. Aha. Uh -huh. Rain. So Aha. Uh -huh. A lot of rain. Right. So you are very sure that it rained because everything is wet. So you say to yourself, yeah. "Debió haber llovido." How do you say that in English? It should, it should have, have uh -uh. raining. Now Rain. remember, Rain. What, what is what is the model that you use when you are very sure about something? Might. Must. Must. Ma might is a Must. possibility. Must. 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 Uh -huh. Must is correct because if it's wet, there is no question that it rained, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you open the door, you see that everything is wet. So you say to yourself, debió haber llovido. How do you say that? It must have rained. It rain. must have rain. Very rain. good. Because you're 100% sure that it rained because everything is wet. So you said, man, it must have rained. It must have rained. Right? Now, mm -hmm. when you see that the streets are wet, is because you slept well, because you didn't hear anything. And then you say to yourself, debí haber dormido como un bebé. How do you say that? Debí haber dormido como un bebé, because you're very sure. How do you say I, that in English? I must, I must have slept. I must have slept. 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 Like a baby. Like a, like a baby. baby. <laughs> exactly, very good. So my sweet that's, baby. Exactly. So, so if it's wet and you didn't hear anything, you say to yourself, man, I must have slept like a baby. Right? <laughs> Jose, how are you? Very, Did you have a good well, day? Sister. Very well, very well. Thank nice. You. All right. Good. All right. So, um, have you had the chance to use the platform? Not yet. My... Yes. Okay. Um, I know that some people are having problems to use the platform. Um, and I told yes. my supervisor, I told him, look, I have reports that the platform is not functioning well. So, I don't know if he's going to give me an answer um, tonight or later on, but I will let you guys know whenever I have an answer. Mm -hmm. All right. So there is one um, there is one part in the platform where the lady talks about. Let's see. Let me look for this. Okay, let's see. Um, can you see the document? Not yet. Not, Not yet. yet. Okay, hold on. Let me see. Share this. What about now? Yes. Yeah. All right, good. Uh, can somebody please help me read with the first slide? Birth, birth of belief. Yes. Now, what is the meaning of belief? Bear. Right. So sometimes you believe things. Sometimes you don't believe things. Sometimes you are very sure about something sometimes you hesitate do you remember the word hesitate yeah. mm. okay uh. hesitate is what we say in spanish dudar you hesitate mm. so you talk with your best friend and you tell your best friend look if you have any problems with your car don't hesitate to call me mm -hmm. how do you spell hesitate H -E -S -S. No, I don't know. H E S I T A T E. 
H E S I T A T E. Hesitate. Okay. So, what is the first verb that we have here? Assume. 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 And assume it's the same verb that we have in Spanish. Now, assume. Yeah. Right. Now, be positive. When we see the word be, we're talking about the three different forms of verb to be if we're using present. So, am positive, is positive, are positive. So, you said, I am positive that I'm going to pass the exam. She is positive that she will pass the exam. They are positive that they will pass the exam. So this right here is just reference, but remember that verb to be has different forms. Now, what are the two forms of verb to be in past? Was and were. Was, was. and were, very good. Now, what about bet? Apostar. Aha, so you say, apuesto a que no has comido. You are very sure, so you use that expression, bet. What about figure? Mm. Yours to have an idea. Okay, good. To make yourself an idea of something. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. What about when you say have a hunch? Anybody? Have, have a hunch is just like having a feeling that that is on that way or on, on the way that you think that it, that, that it is. Very good. And it can be something positive. It can also be something negative. Yes. So you can say, I have a hunch that my brother is going to come in 20 minutes. Or you can say the opposite. I have a hunch that my brother went dancing and he's not coming tonight. So you have a hunch. You have a strong feeling. What is suppose? Suppose? Anybody, can you explain the meaning of the word suppose? I think that suppose is just like in Spanish, it's just like a supposition of something. Yes, so you think, but you well, you're not that, sure. Yeah, but you're not sure, and okay. you didn't have a way to be sure about it. Exactly, so you're like, let's see what happens. Okay, so you have be certain. Be certain is the same as be positive. Right here, you can use the three forms mm -hmm. of verb to be in present. What are the three forms of verb to be? Um, um, is, are. Very good. Am, um, is, are. And what do we have in past? Was and were. Was and were. Very good. So you said, I am certain that I will change my car in one year. She is certain that she will get married with her boyfriend. Or you can say they are certain that they gave them the wrong address. So when do you use the expression be certain? 100% that you are sure. Very good. Yes, when you're 100% sure about something. The following one is very similar to be certain. Be sure. Can you give me an example of something that you are sure about? Anybody? What time do you go to sleep on Fridays? What time do you go to sleep on Friday, uh, guys? Around 11. 11. And do you have dinner before you go to sleep? Yes. Okay. So you said, I am sure that I will have dinner before I go to sleep. Do you guys work tomorrow? Yeah. Do you guys work Saturdays? No. 
<laughs> okay. So if you don't wait, if you don't work tomorrow, do you wake up late? Yeah. Okay. So you said, <laughs> I am sure that tomorrow Saturday I'm going to wake up late. So mm -hmm. if you don't have to go to work, you're sure about that. Now, when do we use this one? Doubt. Anybody? Duda. Duda. No duda. Okay. So do you use this when you are very sure about something or are you like halfway? Halfway. Okay, halfway. So imagine, in my case, in my case, I ate before we started the class and I'm in the office right now. So we finished the class at 9 p.m. I arrived to my house like 30 minutes later. When I arrived to my house, before I arrived to my house, my wife, she's going to ask me, Francisco, are you going to eat? And I will say, I doubt it. Now, what is the message there if my answer is I doubt it? Almost you, almost you, you know, you don't need milk. Exactly. It's almost sure that I don't need a meal. That is correct. What about guess? Adivinar. Okay. Uh, is there another meaning for guess? Besides adivinar? Hmm. Okay, what time what time do you usually arrive in your house? Um, 5.46. 5.46, okay. Evelyn says that she arrives in her house at 5.46. So when you arrive to your house, your mother says, Evelyn, are you going to eat? And Evelyn responds, I guess. So what is Evelyn saying there when she responds that to her mom? Evelyn, are you going to have dinner? And she says, I guess. What is the message like, there? Maybe, no. Uh-huh. <laughs> Someone else? Mm. Guess is another ben. form to say, I think. Uh-huh. Uh mm. Mm -hmm. So, Evelyn, are you going to have dinner? And she says, I guess. So, in other words, she says, I think. So, it's, it's almost saying yes. Mm. All right. Mm -hmm. More polite. But, uh, but it, not, not exactly polite, but it's another form to say, I think. That's a colloquial. colloquial. Yes, colloquial. Well, I have a doubt about this. Uh, I always have heard that guess and suppose are used just like synonyms, but I'm not, not sure the reason why they're used like that. Uh, uh, it, it's because when you say it, uh, suppose, are you going to have dinner? I suppose. Are you going to have dinner? I think. Are you going to have dinner? I guess. So the three are synonyms. That is correct. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay, what about no for a fact? What is no for a fact? Uh, dar por hecho. Uh, uh, so what does that mean? Dar algo por hecho. Dar algo, no? Okay, but how can you explain that in English? Your translation is good, but how can you explain that word in English? As an example, I know for a fact that Dogs are good pets. Okay. That be an example. When, that's a very, that's, uh huh. Is when you are 100% uh, uh, sure that, uh, that uh, whatever thing. Very good. Very good. Yes. So you use this expression, I know for a fact, 
when you are 100% sure about something, positive or negative, but you're 100% sure. Very good. And the last one, suspect. What is suspect? Is when happened something and uh, you have a uh, 50% uh, that that thing is it's a true. fact, it's true, and 50% uh, is, uh, is uncertain. An uncertain. Very good, uncertain. very good, very good, Jose. Yes, when you suspect you think you think something is possible but you cannot confirm you cannot confirm so imagine that you put a um, a sandwich in the fridge when you come back two hours later your sandwich is not there anymore and then you said i suspect that my sister took my sandwich like I suppose. Right. You suppose, but you're not sure. Mm. Got it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. How do you pronounce the first one? Assume. 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 Number two. Be positive. Be positive. Be positive. Next one. Bet. 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 Remember that we use bet when you're 100% sure about something. I bet. I bet. Uh, we have, how do you pronounce this one? Figure. 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 Say figure. 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 What about the following one? Have a hunch. Have a hunch. Have a hunch. I have a hunch that tomorrow is going to be a good day, for example. Um, how do you pronounce the other one? Suppose. 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 Next one. Be certain. Okay. Observation. Okay. Um, in English, when you have a T, vowels, and N, when you're talking about American pronunciation, people usually omit the vowel sound and you will say certain. 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 Yes. How do you say certain. algodón in English? Cotton. 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 Uh-huh. Cotton. 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 How do you say montaña? Mountain. 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 Yes, mountain. Okay. So how do you pronounce this one? Certain. 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 Okay. Listen carefully. What is the past tense of right? What? The what? past tense of the verb write. Wrote. Wrote. What is the past Road. participle? Written. Written. Very good. Written. 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 So you say Isabel Allende has written many books. Okay. What is the past tense of get? Got. 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 And what is the past participle? Gotten. 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 So you gotten. say, my neighbor has gotten fever gotten. again. He has gotten fever again. So how do you pronounce this one? Sure. Be sure. This one here? Doubt. 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 Yes. 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 No. Now, now for a fact. No, no for a fact. And suspect. 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 Very good. Suspect. So I have my book on the table and the book is not here anymore. So I suspect that my supervisor came and he took it. So you say suspect. 
Okay, any questions about these verbs of belief? Mm -mm. Can you read the first example, please? Maribel, can you read the first example? I, as, I assume the price of gas will go up again. Okay, very good. So imagine that the price of gas has been going up for the last three weeks. So you wouldn't be surprised if, if the price of gas goes up again. Evelyn, can you read number two, please? I have a bunch. The team will re right Rick, Rick. Rick. <laughs> Rick. the games okay i have a hunch the team will rig the games aha uh -huh. what is the meaning of rig anybody i don't, I don't know rig is what Wing, we maybe. say Wing. no rig r i g it's rig. like a <laughs> huh? like a wing no, rig means amañar. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, like selecta. Exactly. <laughs> you said it, not me. <laughs> okay, she said, I have a hunch the team will rig the games. What about number three, Jose? Okay. Certain Mary, Mary took the papers. Jose, are you there? Yeah. Okay, can you read number three, please? Okay. She is certain that Mario took the papers. Very good. She is certain that Mario took the papers. What about the next one, Marcelo? We doubt that La Selecta can, can classify. 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 So you're watching the game. You're not convinced. So you tell your brother, man, we doubt that La Selecta can classify. What about the next one, Funny? Can you read the next one, please? Is Funny there? Or Evelyn? We suspect that she is not telling the truth about the manslaughter. Manslaughter. Men's no, no, no. Yes. So we suspect that she's not telling the truth about the men's slaughter, which is very common. Do you know the meaning of men's slaughter? No, no, no. Um, men's slaughter is when a person kills someone else by accident. <laughs> When you kill a person by accident. Oh, okay. So imagine that you're driving your car, there is a car accident, and a person loses his life, you will be accused of manslaughter. You mm -hmm. killed someone, but that was not your intention. Mm -hmm. uh, um, what is the word we use in El Salvador for manslaughter? Homicidio culposo. culposo. Exactly, very good. Homicidio culposo, very good. And the last one, what is the last one? I need a volunteer to read the last one. We suppose Laguna de Alegría has the left ear. Depleted. 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 So let me give you an example. Five years ago, you see a picture of Laguna de Alegría and you see a lot of water and it looks very nice. You see a picture of Laguna de Alegría today and you see a big difference in the quantity of water. Yeah. So you say, we suppose Laguna de Alegría right. has depleted. Depleted means to go down. Do, do you understand the meaning of depleted? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. And that's a real example. Have you visited the Alegría Lagoon before? The place is when the level... When the level... Goes down. Goes yes. down, exactly. When the level goes down. Yes. When was the last time you visited Laguna de Alegría, guys? Have you ever been there? 
No. No, no I haven't. Are you saying Usulutan? Yes, it's in Usulutan. You must go to Berlin. Laguna de Alegría. Berlin. It has a soles. No. No, uh, Laguna de Alegría is famous because in the past... For the color. Uh, yes, the reflection of the trees, you get the impression that the color of the water is green, but it's not green, it's just the reflection yeah. of the trees. But the special thing about Laguna de Alegría is the content, because Laguna de Alegría used to be a crater. Azufre. Exactly. Azufre in English, you call it sulfur. Sulfur. Yes. Sulfur. Yes, so Laguna de Alegría has sulfur. And when you go in the water, and when you finish bathing, you can feel your skin completely different. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Something healthy. Yes. Uh, some people with allergies, they go to Laguna de Alegría and they cure the skin. No, no. Oh my God. Yes, so That's if you if you know a person that has an allergy or has any problems with the skin, it is a good idea to go to Laguna de Alegría. But the person needs to go in the water and the water has some components that are really, really uh, good for the skin. Okay. I know, questions? teacher, I, I, I knew that Alegría is a... Um, it's a country or pueblo? It, it's a us. town. It's a, uh, it's a town. The, the, houses, the houses are very small. Okay. The houses, uh-huh. All right. Because I think the people is small too. Okay. Um, I have visited Laguna de Alegría like three different times. And I remember that the houses were normal. Or, or mm. maybe there is another area. Older, but normal. <laughs> right, they are old. Yes, they have old houses, but they got their normal size. Oh, okay. Do you remember Alberto Masferrer? The highest. Yeah, they're tall. The writer. Right? Uh -huh. Alberto Masferrer? Yes. He was born in Alegría. Oh. Yes. All right. Uh, oh. Any questions about the verse of belief? class no belief means like creencias yes when you think that something is true when you think that something maybe it's true when you think something has small possibilities of being true you use the verbs that we oh. were uh, practicing with before okay Okay, thank you. All right, good. Any questions there? David, David, David. Be careful with the cat. <laughs> Somebody has cats at home. Be sweetie, be positive, have a hunch. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, right here. Yes, uh, go ahead, Maribel. I'm sorry. What's the meaning of now, now for a fact? Okay, no for a fact. No, no, I'm sorry, no for a fact. Uh -huh. Marcelo, can you explain no for a fact for Maribel? What? That you are sure about something. Yes. When you use no for a fact that, for example, you... You tomorrow you have a free day and you sleep very uh, late and you know for a fact that you wake up very late. Yes, mm -hmm. because uh, and, and you use this expression many times when you have evidence about something. Mm -hmm. So Marcelo's example was very good because if Saturday is your day off you know for a fact that you're going to sleep more. Got it? Yeah, thank All you. All right. Thank you, Marcelo. Can be 
can yes. be some, something obviously. Huh? Yes, very good. Yes, you use that expression also when you know that something is very obvious. Okay. So uh, you see a, a, a woman and a man kissing, you know for a fact that they're a boyfriend girlfriend. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. Or, or maybe friends <laughs> with benefit. Yeah. <laughs> better, better. That too is possible. N nowadays, you can expect whatever. All right. Um, <laughs> any other questions before we change activity? No. No? All right. So this is the part in the platform um, where the lady in the video, she explains. So this is something that you guys um, should review. So now we go here. Let's see if I can open this. Let's see. Go here. Do you remember the conversation we had yesterday? Yes. Do, do you remember the topic? About animals. Right? Animals. Yes. Yes, no. Um, ESL discussions. Uh -huh. Can you see the screen? Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, we're going to choose a topic that maybe is not that nice, but it's something that we need to discuss. What's mm -hmm. the name of the topic? Excellent. Accident. Yes. Okay, so let me see how many rooms I can have here. I'm going to make two rooms. So the class will be divided three people in one group and three in the other. So as you guys are working with groups, I want you to discuss the 10 questions that we have here. You ready? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Here we go. Let's begin. Wait. Mm -mm. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, I closed the groups okay, by accident. Group. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we have to wait 27, 20. R right now you can practice your numbers in English while we close this. <laughs> so, you, so you're counting in your mind, you're counting in your mind. Okay. Okay, so let me wait, let, let's wait until it officially closes so I can do it again. Two, one, da 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 da. All right, let's go. We have. Can you see the questions? Yes. Yes. All right, so start talking. Yes, I am here. <laughs> You're the only one in this group. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let me see. I don't know what I did. 
I don't remember. Uh, when I, uh, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. When I, uh, maybe when I was a child, maybe I, I, I wear, I'm um, sorry, I was uh, seven or eight years old. Uh, when I was walking the street with my with my sisters, someone came uh, ride the bicycle and run into me. Uh huh. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Yeah, so I I don't I don't know how to say this my arm for about two or three minutes. Fell down. Fall down. Mm -hmm. Fell down. No, desmayarte. The microphone is off, teacher. <laughs> Fell. Okay, if if you want to say desmayarse, you're supposed to say faint. Faint. How do you say pintura in English? Paint. Paint. So you change letter P for letter F and you say faint. F. Faint. Faint. Yes. So okay. what is the, the past tense of so faint? The past? Fainted. Fainted. I fainted. I fainted. Yes. Uh, for about uh, two, two minutes maybe. Mm -hmm. Only that. Okay. The others speak yes quickly, please quickly please <laughs> funny what is your opinion funny in my case i have an accident with i a child when i was a child repeat you say i had an accident when i was a child is that what you said yes okay and the uh, why uh, my motorcycle okay now but when you say the motorcycle you were the passenger with my uh, sister oh can you hear me yeah yeah teacher. We don't have the question. <laughs> okay, Can right now. Start? Right now. I'll give it to you right now. Can you see it? Mm, yes. All right. Oh, okay. Yes. I got it. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. Which Tell one are me, you discussing now? Out. The first. <laughs> oh, the first one. The first one. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, answer the question. Okay, Evelyn, what, what's the biggest accident you ever had? The biggest accident you have? Mm, when Let I... Okay. When I was riding my motorcycle. Oh, 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 oh. Once okay. I I had an accident and the floor was wet and I uh, you fell I fell uh, I fell in the on on the street and a bus um, was coming uh, well mm, <laughs> pass. Eh, eh, pasó encima de mi llanta. Oh my God. Uh, pass over <laughs> your your well. Pass over your well. Yeah, yeah the wheel. Wheel. The wheel. 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 And, okay. and, wh and when was this, Evelyn? What year? Eh, near to my work in San Bartolo. Okay. And when? was a uh, a uh, uh, twenty. 29 root <laughs> I remember okay and that was this year mm, or what? when was it Sorry? when was it 
when was the accident? When? <laughs> Around uh, three years ago. Four, okay. Three years ago. Yeah. And, and do you still use a motorcycle? No, I spend, I have a car. Okay. So, safe. okay. So that was a bad experience that you failed. Yeah. 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 Okay, fine. What about you, Jose? The biggest accident you ever had? Uh, well, uh, yeah. in my in my year as a student, I remember I was playing in a in a school band, the school band, and the 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 instructor was very very strict. Strict. And strict. Yes. Uh, and I remember during a a presentation during a, a show. Yes. Uh, suddenly I I start I start to feel to feel uh, has a has a deep sea. Um, Easy, yes, sick. That's a sick, uh, a little bit dipsy. Yes, you know. Yeah, deep. Uh, dipsy. Dizzy. Right. Dizzy. Dizzy. Yeah. Yes, dizzy. Uh, and and uh, suddenly I I back. Back down. Uh, suddenly, I fell down. Okay, you fell down. Yes. Okay. And and after that, uh, my my co co players is correct. Say, uh, say it. your partners. My par my my partner. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, gave me, gave me uh, uh, a breath, you know. Mm -hmm. and, Why? Be and that was, what? You that need was, a question. Okay. Okay, so that was the biggest accident you ever had. Yeah, it's a little bit, bit funny. It's a little yeah. funny. <laughs> okay, I don't think that's funny, you know, like to, like when you don't feel, uh, when you start feeling sick. Yeah. Okay, good. What about question two? Are you accident, accident prone? What is the meaning of prone? Jose, do you know the meaning of prone? To be honest, I don't know. Okay, accident, when, when they ask you, are you accident prone? That means they're asking you if accidents happen to you all the time. Mm -hmm. Like when, when you have <laughs> Exactly, that's the word in Spanish. Yes, when you're always having accidents. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me visit the other group. See you in a minute. Okay, okay. Are a lot of accidents mm -hmm. here. <laughs> mm -hmm. I me too. Have you, ever, have you ever caused, 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 no sé, have you ever caused an accident? Cost. Yeah, cost. 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 Like cost. The cost. Yeah. Cost. Exactly. They sound very similar. Cost. Cost. Uh-huh. Cost. Cost. Okay. Yes. Have you ever caused an accident? No, because I don't have a car. <laughs> but sometimes people a... cause accidents, not cars. 
where they 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 are walking walking the street distracted mm, the cell phone exactly makeup makeup <laughs> <laughs> or 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 eating right like there are many things that you can do to be distracted that's true yes it's true uh huh what what number are you discussing now Number, number four or five? Five. Uh, number five. Yeah, have you ever caused an accident? Yes. What five. about okay, what about the next question? Do you know what to do if someone has an accident? Can you help people? Yes, in my case. Okay. But no, nah, no direct me. No no I am direct but I when I three no three years ago. When I visited my relatives, visited my grand grandparents. Okay. Uh, we we have a um, a friend of that that is a police, and we come back to to home and we we lo traíamos. We live. We okay. Um, he was with you. Uh huh. And we we watch a, a accident in okay. the in the autopista. I don't. Know, I Malapa, don't know. no, no. The uh, San Miguel. Okay, Panamericana. Panamericana, huh? Yes, Panamericana Road. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, we stopped the car and the, my friend that is a police held the, the, the people to to go out the, the car because the, the car is down it go down. Really? Yes. And I I had to 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 to, to go out the, the people. Right. Go out the, the and the ambulance go arrived and arrived and held the people and carried the, the, the hospital to the hospital uh -huh. okay all right and what about funny uh, i haven't uh-huh um in the seven question Uy, oh, okay, yes. Yes. Repeat the question uh if you have any it, like if you see an accident do you know how to help people mm. I don't understand the question. So, can you help people if they if they are hurt? Like you have, there is an accident. Can you help people? In the reality. Yes, in, in reality. reality. Mm, no, because I uh, afraid, afraid. Okay, you're afraid. Yes. Okay. Good. Okay, so it's 9 p.m. already. Uh, I will see you Monday at 8 p.m. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much for being present today. I appreciate your attendance. And we will see you on Monday. Have a nice weekend. Thank you. Have a nice weekend. Thank you. Thank All you. Right. Have a nice weekend too. All All right. Right. Bye. Bye bye. 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 Teacher, I'm sorry. Yes. I had a burn uh, with a uh, casserola yesterday. Really? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but now, me rasqué. How do you say rasqué? I scratched. But I think I Savila. Savila oh. is very, very good. Nice. Excellent. Good mm -hmm. to know. Good to know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. I hope you feel better. 
Thank you. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye. Bye, Jose. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night.